Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at the Qualcomm Executive Suite at EFA 2013, and we're checking out their just released smartwatch. This is the Talk. So this has a gorgeous one and a half inch display, and the thing that you'll notice the most is, well, I'm in the full sunlight, and you can see it perfectly. It's because this has a Mirasol display. If you've been following this display technology, again, this is 100% sunlight viewable. It actually mimics the uh, wings of a butterfly to kind of make it like iridescent in the sunlight. And if we take a step back, you'll see I'm in the shade. You can still see it perfectly. And if what, for whatever reason, you can actually tap the top there and you can actually have it backlit. Double tap again brings it down. Now they've actually integrated sensors into the band. So if you go down here and you double tap, you'll see it brings up the menu. And so swipe over and then what you get is you get a whole bunch of the notifications. Now if we go back here, you can see that there's, well, notifications. Let's go back. You can do calendar. So that's all the meetings. Swipe back. And this is actually the feature that I've been looking for in all of the smartwatches. We're going to be uh, putting this up against the Samsung Galaxy Gear. And this doesn't have any onboard uh, music right now, so it's relying on a connection to play. But this does come with four gigabytes of onboard storage, so you will be able to take this into the gym and Bluetooth pair it with your headset, and you will be able to listen to music without your smartphone. So we do have the weather here. Now this, you know, what I really like about the implementation of uh, this UI is that when we have, you know, no, we have no phone, well the phone's out of range, all the, all the information still stays current. Now, let's see, now I'm gonna try, oh wait, to one, ta one tap. And then this goes uh, through, so what, what's happened here is the one tap, helps bring the power down one more time so that this is the touch screen is no longer active. So that's actually saving battery. Now what they've done is they've just put the sensors here into this bar. So we swipe over, there we go. And then we have our watch face with, um, sorry, what was that? Watch face with meetings. Keep on going, traditional watch face. Keep on going through all of them. So I mean, there's, there's a whole bunch of really cool iterations that you can do with this. Uh, and actually, one of the more exciting things that I'm looking forward to is that Qualcomm is big on the connected home, connected network, connected all of that. So this has all joint functionality built in. So there is an app to go with your phone. Why don't we check out what it can do? All right, so here we're gonna check out a demo of the talk. So behind me here, we have a higher AC. So in Asia, it's really common to have room, room only ACs. I have one in my house. Now, let's say, well, you also wanna be energy conscious, right? So Qualcomm has a system called AllJoin where they can do connected devices. And so the talk is gonna be uh, a part of this kind of overarching umbrella of the internet of things that everyone's getting so excited about. So as a part of the demo, what's happened is, is that my very intelligent AC has been like, hello, Nicole. Actually, it doesn't say hello, Nicole. It says, hello, Catherine. <laughs> Did you forget to shut off your home AC? And then actually the developer who wrote this demo didn't do the, yes, I did forget, turn off my AC, but that is entirely possible. So you can actually kind of the connected AC and wireless and then the talk device. So this is actually part of a bigger ecosystem. Now we're gonna check out another home automation moment with the talk. Home automation has been a big buzz at IFA 2013 and Qualcomm has been working on this for quite a while. So this really isn't new for them. So the talk watch is actually coming into a larger ecosystem. So let's say I'm wearing the watch and then I walk into a room and through NSC or a sensor pod will know that I walk in. So it says, oh, look, you know, you can, you can turn on a light. So let's, or let's pick the light bulb. And then it's like, you can control that light bulb. And so you can see this light bulb right here behind me. So I can say, let's turn it on. And there we go. And then it says, you know, maybe, maybe you only want to put it at 50% brightness. So let's do that. And it turns it down. So this is, this is just one of the many things that we can do or Qualcomm has imagined with the talk. So if we look at where Qualcomm is going with this, you'll be able to buy it directly from them. They're selling it only into the US as like a limited test case. Now, when I told you earlier that I was really excited that there was four gigabytes of Umber memory and we could play music directly from the smartwatch because that's what I've been waiting for from all of these smartwatch manufacturers, that was a lie. 
actually, it's possible, but it's not actually going to be happening in this iteration because Qualcomm is going to be taking this to the OEMs and ODMs and asking them if they want to make it, right? So the OEMs or ODMs or whoever you know, takes it forward, that may happen. So leave a comment if that's something that you want, and then maybe we can bully them into making it happen. Everything's possible on the internet, you know. So I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, taking a look at the Qualcomm Talk with a gorgeous mirror cell display that I'm super excited. We're finally seeing a product because I've always loved it. So I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks. <laughs>